You're on. Hopefully so. Very good. We just do our checks. We just go through through all our checks. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's well. Here we are. Let's just check everything is on there. Um, check the sound. Very good. Let's do our checks. Yeah, that all seems fine. Okay. Okay, I'll just come through two seconds. I'll see next to Thomas Woodcarver. Excuse me a second there. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, yeah, slightly different. As you can see, we're, 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 we're speaking to camera to start off. So yes, something. It's quite, quite something for me, this is, because he, he doesn't normally allow me to sit down. But there we go. This is we great. Go. And now we, the phone's ringing. It, it, you're not going to be able to sit down for long. I've got to answer the phone, all right? There we are. You'll have oh. To oh. Well, no, it's finished. It's finished ringing. Right, we're you, okay. Can, you can stay a bit longer. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, uh, uh, basically, the reason we're doing this, starting off, um, first thing, a bit of a thank you to everyone because we, we've just gone past 4,000 subscribers. The phone did ring. Sorry, Dave. Thomas Woodcarver's going already. So, um, just just a quick thank you to you all. Um, we, we, we do really appreciate it. Um, and for us, you know, we're a small family workshop and to have reached, um, whilst it may not seem that significant 4,000 for, for some channels and for some people, for us, it's, it's incredible. And um, we've enjoyed that journey and we continue enjoying it. And that's our plan and our hope then is to continue sharing what we do. On that note, uh, Wednesday, we've got a video upload that we, we, we're starting as a series and hopefully, It'll be uh, a bit of fun. Hopefully, it's going to be uh, something to be of interest, and um, what, we hope you'll enjoy on, that. He's on the camera in a minute. Yeah. Oh, if I pass you on to my son, Dave. Oh, I think I'm being called away now. This gentleman, I'll carry on. There we are. Well, what I what I'm going to do? We we're going to be doing some work on this one here. Um, so I'm hoping that Thomas Woodcarver will introduce how um, we're going to go about, we're going to cut in this out. So we're going to be cutting these different ones. From the title, you may realise that the theme is based around pets. So last week, we showed that one there. Um, and that is the, the cat one that we cut out. That was the inspiration for doing this live stream, is because we've sold, in the last week, we've managed to sell all three that we made last week so we thought right if, if that's going to be popular what else can we have a look at so what we've got to show you is cutting out our dog and cat themed um coaster first one i'm going to do is that one there which is the paw print now that's a popular one that we've done before and somebody requested a poodle on a love spoon so in the process of doing the artwork I thought we'd have a little look, look at doing some line art in the style of a poodle. So that's the idea behind this then. We're going to do, um, we, we're going to do um, a bit of cutting out of those ones there. So I, I'm going to set that camera up now so you'll be able to see how, how that goes. So bear with me two seconds. Let's have a little look. Oh, I can see as well, I've missed a few comments already. I will, before I start scroll soaring, we're going to check out what everyone's, uh, what everyone said there. Okay. Who's the person we're looking at? You'll be on here for about at least an hour. There we are. So, so it'll be after that, all right? Let's have a little look here. There we go. We're going to zoom that camera in as well. All Just right, guys. Like, cheers up. There we are. Just like so. Right. Okay, so we're just going to move it there and refocus. And as I said, before we get started, we're going to check out what you've been saying. Let's have a look. Okie dokie, we have got Aubrey. Hello. Yes, the eve of St. David's Day indeed. Um, hello, gentlemen. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so, it's also mine. Brilliant. And do you have a, a dragon coasters? No, we haven't got, got any dragon ones. We've done a number of dragon carvings. All I did was some um, ring back, all right? Here we are, that's fine. So we've got some of the ring back later on. I put it there, okay? Yeah, no problem at all. So, as you can see, we've got 
ready to go on that one there. We've got the focus all in position. Um, same processes that we use where we marked it out on the wood. So this one I marked out earlier today. These other ones we've marked out by sticking onto the wood itself. I've sanded the back. So something I try to always remember to explain. Uh, sand the back, get it nice and flat. So when you go to do your scroll sawing, it's not rocking about. It's not going to cause you a, a big problem um, because if it's if it's rocking, it makes it more difficult to cut out. It's especially anyone who's a beginner with a scroll saw who might see this one. That's a really important point. Make sure you get it nice and flat. Excuse me. You want a good blade. Um, if you're doing a live stream, make sure you've got a spare blade because they do snap. And yeah, we've drilled out larger holes, <coughs> excuse me, on these ones. Uh, I have noticed, I haven't drilled out the hole at the top of there. So at some stage, you, you're going to have to, I'll cut out these and then I'll give it to you, dude. And you, if you can drill that one for okay. me, otherwise we're not going to be able to hang our decorations, are we? No. There we are. Right, so I will start cutting. Same processes I usually use. I'm going to do the pierce work first of all. And then afterwards, I'll cut the outline. So mask on with the visor and the ear of embers. Here we go. Is, is it okay if I rotate now? If I rotate? You carry on, yeah, because we'll have the noise of this machine, so I won't be doing voice over while I'm cutting. That's a good start. I haven't turned the power on. That's a false start, we call that one. Power on. That's Thomas the Woodcarver in the background working with the router. And this time when I turn the machine on, hopefully it will turn on. go through a few other things before I carry on with my cuts in there. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that piece out. That'll help. That'll just make the cutting a bit quicker because those loose bits of wood will drop down through the gap. Um, and also then, yeah, we're stack cutting. We're using that super glue. So what we will do, we will get three of these decorations at the same time. Um, if you're wondering then why I've chosen to do this and demonstrating the um, pet theme things, it's basically we always try to give out ideas to help anyone who's interested in developing their woodworking into uh, more of a business. You may be doing it as a hobby and interest. You may be selling some things. I find anything that has a pet theme, um, I mean, we love spoon carvers, and uh, the confession is, in, in many instances, I find people love their pets more than uh, one another quite often. Um, not literally, but they do. Anything with pets does seem very popular. I'm just going to check the comments again. I'm going to carry on with the, uh, with the doing the pierce work for all to see. Let's have a little look. Ring bang with uh, head on in 20 minutes, so we'll be happy over there. Um, ah, absolutely, yeah. Happy St. David's. Thank you all for joining us. Right, let's get moving. It's St. David's Day tomorrow, but uh, we're on the eve of it. We've got Welsh cakes and cowl ready to go already. The other thing as well here is Shrove Tuesday as well, pancake day. So we're going to have to come up with an invention of a Welsh pancake, especially for tomorrow.
Okay, so that's as far as we can go initially on that one there. Um, what I'm doing now, I'm just looking around, seeing the quality of the finish, seeing it, because it is a slightly more worn blade. So you're checking it, seeing if the quality is okay. It all seems, you know, is there, there is a little burn on this one here. So I'm just going to go back over that one there. Um, is that a burn or is it a grain line? No, I think it is a burn just on that top layer. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that because it may be a grain line. Is it a grain line? No, we will. We'll tidy it up a little bit. But to give you an idea, just a simple piece of scroll sawing like that, um, we can turn that into a Christmas decoration. The other thing as well, we could turn it into 3D Christmas decorations, which is where you cut out a simple profile, super glue it front and back, and then you could sell that. You, to be honest, you can get, here in the UK, I would get something like £7.50 for it, possibly, if I turn it into a 3D decoration. Um, and when you've got three of them then, it just means a few simple cuts like that on the scroll saw, and you've got some nice gifts, some nice items to sell. And if you were selling them at $7.50, what would that be? $15, $21? You'd be getting $22.50 for just a few simple cuts on the scroll saw. I'll check again if there's anything I missed. Um, excellent review from the Welsh cakes. Uh, I have to confess, Aubrey, it's not been me making the Welsh cakes. Um, we're doing a joint lunch, we're doing a joint dinner. Because mum and dad live next door. Uh, we're doing dinner together and they're doing the Welsh cakes and the cowl and I think it's on me to do the pancakes. So I'll have to come up with a good pancake recipe. If you've got one, it'd be much, much appreciated. Right, let's just tidy this one up and then we're gonna go on to, um, I think next we'll go on to our dog and cat one. I'm not gonna do the cat one again because you saw that last week, but we'll have a go at doing some line art on that one there. Uh, Thomas Woodcarver's coming through. There we are. Do you want to just do the hole on that one there for me? Brilliant. And we'll start on this, this dog and cat themed idea. Basically, I've got this marked out, giving myself a rough idea of where we're going to put the different lines on it. And again, we'll turn this into a coaster. But the cat one was so popular that we had to, we had to use the idea and see what else we could come up with. Brilliant, thanks, sir.
Okay, so uh, initially there, that wasn't some of my best scroll sawing, and the shape I was getting wasn't quite right. But something I do a lot of when it comes to the scroll saw is you you almost improvise. Um, so if you're not happy with the shape, you've just got to adapt it slightly as you go along. It ultimately comes down to um, the finish. You know, what you get is a finish. If How you get to that finish is, is not so important. Excuse me, it is better, it is preferable if you can be really accurate in what you do. And I'm sure there's plenty of scroll sawers out there who are far more accurate than myself. But ultimately, as long as you can get to that end uh, product, that end finish that you're looking for, that, that's the main thing. Let's have a little look, what did I miss there? Aubrey, uh, I did post on Facebook yesterday, there's a very good program on CBC about Hidia. Oddly enough, the guests were Welsh themselves, but all have a very dear love of Wales. Fantastic. Here we are. Right, so we're going to carry on doing some work on that one there, continue with this scroll sawing. Yeah, it's... Um, on that subject, we, we, over the last week, we actually managed to get on um, TV here on two separate occasions. Nothing to do with um, anything like St. David's or um, uh, Valentine's or anything like that. Just, just coincidence that we filmed a few programs last year and they both came out in the same week. So it's been keeping us busy, but all good. Changing the subject slightly uh, as we're going along. Yeah, um, the carver have been putting up a few nice posts as well. So anyone who hasn't checked out that channel, it's great to be able to support one another. Some interesting demonstrations, a nice carving demonstration too this week actually I saw. Um, one short and one longer demonstration. Have a look on, the, on his channel, check out what he's doing. 
Um, great to see the methods used and um, yeah, fantastic to see as well how the, how the videos are, are coming along. Right, this we're using, back to this one here, we're using line art and some of the cuts then that I've done, there's always an element whenever you do a new design, this isn't a new new design, it's one I've done before, but I always, I spend a lot of time sort of slightly adapting things that I do as I go along. And so some of these are quite long lines. It may slightly compromise the design, but we're gonna try it and see what happens. I'm using that same method that I explained last week where we use the junctions. If you can get the drill holes where the lines meet, then you can use them as like a place to exit to. So if you're cutting down there, you can exit back to where you put that original pilot hole. Um, and the same, if you're coming around here, you can use it as an exit point. So um, if you're learning scroll sawing, what I mean is where, for instance, over here, um, I don't know if the camera can see that one, but over there, there's two or three lines joining at that point. And if you can drill the hole there, you can, when you're doing your scroll sawing, you can reverse your scroll saw and use it as a, as a point to exit, to get the blade back to. So when you're doing line art, that's a little technique that I use. It's the same then, if I move it around to here, this is a junction where different lines meet. And so you can use that. You can scroll so all around there and then reverse back to there. So that's what I try to do is to place strategically my drill holes where I think would be a good exit point. Um, any questions about that though, get them in the comments section and we'll try to help out. Okay, so we're turning that round, and I'm looking on the back then just to see how that's coming out. I might have to do a little bit more work just on the nose of the dog there, but we're getting that basic shape, that basic outline, and at the moment that you know that is all coming out quite nicely as we want it to. Um, one thing I saw on just wondering, we may flatten the head a little bit, the top of the head. 
One thing I saw on a Facebook scroll sawing page group, somebody had a new scroll saw, and I think they were new to scroll saw, and then they were struggling, um, and it sounded like, to me, an issue with feed speed. Now, I always recommend getting the best scroll saw that you can afford. I always think that that is an important thing, is to have the best scroll saw and to find the scroll saw that's suitable for what you do and for yourself. Um, they were using like an entry level one, but it sounded to me as if they were probably the biggest issue they were having was, was the right blade. Um, so I always talk about the blade we have. We use the Niqua Speed number nine reverse turf blade. And there's a couple of things with that. The reverse turf gives you a better cut on the bottom edge, but also um, the number nine it's nine, eight or nine teeth per inch. And that for me gives us a very natural uh, feed speed. It's not too slow and it's fast enough to do the job that I want it to do. Because something, the more teeth you've got when it comes to teeth per inch, the slower the feed speed. And that can be frustrating. And if you're trying to push the scroll saw, if you're trying to push the blade to cut faster than it can, that is always a big issue because um, you're going to burn it and you're forcing the machine. Whenever you're working with any type of saw, you need to let the saw, the saw blade, do the work for you. So, yeah, when it comes to blades, it's an important thing to, to get right. I'm just going to check any comments that I've missed. Uh, this is it. Oh, hello there. Speak yeah, the gnome one. Yeah, it was, it was nice indeed. Thank you, sir. Be honest, you can get this well to start. I think you came to the end. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I thought it was a really nice demonstration. The uh, the gnome one. Really enjoyed that one. Right, let us continue. <laughs> Okay, so just as I'm doing this live, I can hear an extra little noise happening on the scroll saw. So I'm just checking if something's on it. Um, yeah, because things like that always happen, unfortunately. Um, I wonder actually if my table is slightly tilted there. Because um, as I'm looking, it looks fine on the front. And on the back, it started taking out quite a lot extra. Um, which is not good. So I'm gonna have to come back across the top there just to tidy that all out. But we're, we're, not, we're not far off there. What I'm gonna do as well, I'm gonna go back to this one because uh, Dad has drilled that hole out now and I'm just gonna cut out um, 
let's have a little look. How is my blade looking there? What I might do, I think what might be happening, I think it is time. Found out what the mystery noise was. There was a little bit of wood that had stayed on the blade. Right, I think it's time. Let's change this blade. Let's put a new one in and see if that helps as well with the cutting out. So we're gonna cut out our paw print, um, our trio of paw print Christmas Christmas tree style decorations, hanging decorations. We're gonna do that first. This as well, this design can be adapted. You could use it for things like um, key rings. Nice idea for a little key ring. Uh, fridge magnets. So what I do is to put out different ideas that hopefully you know can be adapted. Fridge magnets, key rings. We put it on love spoons, put it on little plaque, all sorts of different things. You could turn it, enlarge it and turn it, and turn it into a plaque itself. The line art as well, things you can do with that, you can fill it with super glue to add a contrast color. So these are all little ideas that we constantly put out to just try and um, turn things into products. And then hopefully it gives them more appeal when it comes to selling. Okay, so the bottom layer has come away nice and easily, nice and quickly. That one is going to come away. Let's use a bit of extra force on him. It's just where the super glue has spread. Um, simple little, there you go. Pull like that, and there we are. So once we tidy those up, simple little idea that we've got there now, a three paw print style. A little bit of work on the top of that one there. Yeah, and on top of those. Um, but it just gives you three simple little products that I can work on, take a few of the sharp edges off, go around with the belt sander, excuse me, smooth it all out. You could do a bit of carving at the top. Um, you could also put in that surround and that surround in the opposite direction, excuse me, and turn them into 3D decorations. So, very simple idea, a paw print, great product, very popular. Um, right, I'm going to go back to this one and we're going to have to do the top of the head of the dog um, because I'm not happy with that one at the moment. 
The funny thing is, it's come out badly on the back, but on the front, we're okay. We're okay. Um, which just shows me that, yeah, there may be a bit of an issue with our blade. But we'll sort it. We'll get something out of it. And if we don't, it's all a learning experience. These things happen. So if we come back to there, so that's our out point, and we will start just working around trying to sort that back out. It's one of those things where nobody realizes quite often the process you go through, they only see the finished product. Much better, happier with that now, and we can go on to the other part of the design. What, sorry? Yeah, read them out if you want to there. Uh, I, I wrote from the bottom. Uh, the last one was, well, it says, see the date by six workshop, hope the same does not happen on the feline or it could be a cactus catastrophe. A catastrophe. Yeah. Um, we got, I tell you now, we have got a little bit of an issue here because um, something's happened when we've drilled the holes here because the eyes, the eyes, it's not quite, it's not feeding through there. Have so you got the spike? So it could be a catastrophe. Yeah. This one, it is looking like it is a catastrophe. I'll tell you what's happened yeah, is when the hole has been, when the hole has been drilled, um, I don't think it's gone in straight. Well, do you want me to drill it, drill it again? You, you could do. Yeah, if you take that one in and drill that one. Yeah. And um, it, there's a few people saying about St. David's Day tomorrow. Yeah, we've seen the... Uh, We've seen, yeah. we've seen those. Can, can yeah. I just mention what we used to do in school? What did you used to do in school? Where well, are these? More than 60 years ago. Okay. Six, 64, 64, five years ago. 
St. David's Day, of course, you'd have the you'd have like a nice stealth food. Yeah. <clears throat> that would be in the morning and then you have the afternoon off. Yeah, yeah. But mainly, of course, the girls would wear a daffodil. Yeah. The boys would wear a leek. Yeah. And um, after the I said food, going home from um, the I said food, you'd have the afternoon off. Yeah. And so the boys, of course, they would do two things. They would either eat the leek. Eat the leek. Yeah. Uh, or would they fight with it? No. Oh. You would climb up the rugby posts. Right. And you would plant the leek on, on, the, the, on the crossbar on that, the crossbar that was um the two uh that was the two sort of traditional things how many for, times did you eat the leek uh not very often not very nice of raw leek no what about the daffodils anybody try eating them no i think they're poisonous actually <laughs> they are, they're all flowing in. <laughs> although an interesting one about the daffodil of course they are experimenting with it yeah um as, a, as some kind of a drug, I think. Uh, was it Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So that was quite a while ago. Oh. there Dave that you're using a sixteenth of an inch yeah drill yeah and it would be it's, worth showing the camera it's drifted isn't it well yeah it, but if you if you push the saw through like that first of all yeah just to make sure yeah you see you can show I don't know if the camera can see that yeah but it's um it was just that middle one. what it is, is the, the, the blade is slightly drifted but we come back onto that and see if we can salvage it I yeah. think we're going to be struggling on the bottom layer of our coasters, yeah. but we're cutting out three at the same time. So, you know, if we do lose one... But that's, that's a good tip though, Dave, before you start 
Yeah, I mean, it. well, there we are. We sh we sh we show what what Thomas Thomas Woodcar was referring to. Before you start cutting, what you can do is um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll demonstrate it better on the bench afterwards. Um, but you can push the, the, the it through at the front to check. Truth of it is, for ourselves, we're always. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell the time. reason. Yeah. You, you're using the sixteenth drill, yeah. right? It's a very small drill. It is. You're pulling yeah. it back out. It's yeah. not. It isn't clearing all the wood when you stuck cut it. Yeah, that's right. And uh, sometimes it's. Um... Oh, did we miss something there? My friend accidentally ate a daffodil bulb. Oh, I'm seeing. What? Bought that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a beauty. I'll read you that. For a moment then, I went through the full range of emo emotions. I was laughing first of all. The then I thought, oh my goodness. Ate the daffodil bulb. He's got cheese, meal, and he's doctor in hospital. Bought that. Doctor says, <laughs> that sounds like a Tommy Cooper joke, that doesn't it? Oh dear me. We had a, you remember the one we had did with the, um, we had the Welsh jokes book. We used to sell it in here. Oh, of course, yeah. And you'd have people in the workshop and they'd be there for an hour just reading the jokes. You didn't mind as long as they, as long as they bought the book, wouldn't they? That's right. But half the time they'd read all the jokes and then put it back. Well, that's typical Welsh, isn't it? Oh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> No, fair, fair play, that's a good one. <coughs> At the moment, the poodle's starting to look like Darth Vader. There you go. That's what you can do. Always, always start thinking of a contingency plan if things are not going right. Um, so yeah, we're going to cut the rest of the bits of the face out, and then we see what we're looking at. But if it is Darth Vader, we just got to find a, a Star Wars fan.
So as we're going along, we keep checking, and at the moment, yeah, we're not convinced by this one, and this is what happens. There's always an element of trial and error in anything you do. As I'm checking on the back as well, it needs to come wider on the nose there as well. Um, but this is what we're sort of checking out, because this is what somebody's requested, is a poodle on a love spoon. Always got this thing when doing dogs, um, not a straightforward one I always find to do. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Is it first one? Excuse me. Um, would, you look, you look like an Englishman. Second husband. I'm not English. I only look like this when I've just been sick. Oh, got a, we, got, we, we, we just got beaten in the rugby by him. Where is the? Uh, I haven't missed it. I missed it. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, we've got a good scroll saw for doing it, the Hegner multi cut. Also, as well, good blade. Um, but it's it's one of those things where, as I said, there is an element of trial and error, and sometimes the designs work, sometimes they don't. This may be a, a one or two out of three. We shall see.
Okay, so at this stage, I pause again, and we just start looking at things, and there's certain things that I'm happy with, certain things I'm not so happy with, but what you can do then is to start thinking, okay, there's certain elements you're not so happy with, um, what could you possibly do to improve them? What can you do to develop the design? Um, and that's the sort of thing you can do. The other thing that I'm also thinking is, for instance, to fill the eyes and the nose and the mouth with coloured super glue to make them more prominent, to make them stand out more and to give them a bit of distinction with these pieces that are sort of shaping the face. Um, yeah, the, the other thing you could do as well, if I made the whole thing bigger, the whole design bigger, that would improve things for us as well. Slightly. Uh, have I missed anything? Where is the report button? <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> is it getting confrontational? We can't say too much here in Wales. As I said, we got beaten in the rugby. And uh, so that's, that's bragging rights to England for the next year. Okay, so turning it round on the back, um, this is where we just look and see what bits we're sort of happy with, what bits not so much. Um, and again, it's slightly different on the back. There's a little piece just left over in there that we've got to take away. Um, one thing we might have to do as well, a little bit of work on this back one, on the... Um, on the nose 
uh, because it's what happens. It it's when you drill those holes. We we it's such fine work that that bit there is just it's on the other side is just taken out. It's just cut at a different angle. What I would like to do with this one is um, a couple of things. Firstly, I'd like to just sand down the face so I can see it a bit better. That's the first thing I'd like to do. I would also be keen to get some um, super glue, some of the black super glue into some of the features. And I'm also as well thinking in terms of what we're going to actually turn this into. Um, as in a shape for a surround and then you know it could be a fridge magnet something like that so if Thomas Woodcarver comes back in I might ask him to just have a little look at that for, for us is to get a shape excuse me I'm just spitting on there now we take other. but basically using those line art techniques again we have got something that represents a Darth Vader poodle um, it could be an original, that one there. And so we've got that basic outline. What I'm going to do then is going to go back across to this one here. And we're going to finish off cutting round um, and see what we can come up with for this particular design. At this moment in time, I know I've got our three, um, our three paw prints. Those have gone okay. I'm happy with that. The poodle, I'm happy with aspects of it. Some aspects, not so much. And our dog, sort of cat, almost looks like a little bear design, um, is a maybe at the moment. So we, we will see. Ah, Thomas Woodcarver's coming back in. Um, could, you, could you do me a favour? Could you get the black super glue and the accelerant for that one? Black and also, could you mark out a shape around there? The problem you've got is you've got a few holes there, so we can cut it and turn it into a fridge magnet or something. If you can just cut a basic shape around it. Like an oval, you mean? Like an oval shape around it or something, and we'll finish it off. And we'll see if we've got something out of it. If not, you chalk it down to experience. If you have, great. And sometimes, you an idea like that, We've got most of that design as we want it, but I think there's a little bit of adaption needs to happen with that design, develop it, and then you'll end up with an end product. But that is sometimes just the way the process goes. minute says up um, I'm sort of going away from where those lines where I've drawn the lines myself actually um, again they're guidelines use them as a guide they'll help you out but if you feel that it's going to be better to move slightly away from them do it because 
there's not a right or wrong. Um, well, you can get it wrong, but if you feel that it's going to be better to just adapt it slightly, then, then do it and uh, give it a go, see what happens. shape on the outside if you wanted to what's your preference shall i do the oval or shall i do the the, the e8 well put, put it to everybody see what they think okay so have a little look what do you prefer thomas woodgarve has given us two options like a almost like an eight outline or an oval so whichever you prefer put it in the comment section and uh, that's what we'll do so i'll show you once more so you've got that figure of eight or an oval well. And you got the super glue, the the color super glue, and the other thing, a piece of A4 paper. A4 paper. Yeah, so we're filling that. Thank you very much for that. And possibly, no, the schlack we won't need. We shouldn't need that. There we are. Brilliant. Yeah, put it in the comment section, which you prefer. And I'll carry on with this other one.
Hello. Yeah. There we go. We got a little bit of rain here too, haven't we? <laughs> is it stopped at the moment? You can't tell because the glass the glass is all covered in rain, so you can't tell whether it's stopped or not. There we are. We're with these here, we'll cut that out in the oval shape. So we we got that one as well. Now we've got the coaster. Um I think at the end of this it's actually. Good actually yeah. If you use the oval first of all. Yeah. Um, if you decide you don't like it, you could always do the figure of eight afterwards. Yeah. There you go. But I, 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 be honest, my preference was the oval as well. Yeah, my preference was the figure of eight. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> I, at, at the end of this, I think we should sit down, actually, if we, if it is possible, the two of us, either side of the bench, and we should have a little chat. Because there's, with what we're showing here, um, there's something relevant in terms of um, a business then. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, because making things, I know there's people joining us from the US, there's people, you know, joining us from the UK, you know, we, we need to be making more stuff in the US and the UK. Definitely. And, and there's a, there's a serious business side with this that you, you can do that and you can develop your own business. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah. we can compete with, you know, other, other countries with, you know, with the, where the labor is cheap and things like that. Isn't yeah. It? And it's back to therapy is, is, is good for you. Yeah, so I'll, I'll finish cutting these out and then we'll have a sit down at the end and we'll have a, we'll yeah, have a cut together. Because when we started, we got a few interruptions, so... Uh, yeah, no problem. Mr. Comment, no, there we are. We've cut this last one out. Can you could you separate those two layers for me, dude? There we are. That's grand. And the other thing as well, where did I put the paw prints? Yeah. Oh, making sure everybody you know the paw prints are here. Paw prints are there. Great. Okay. There we are. Right. So they're coming out. Okay. Do do you wanna do you wanna put those all through the belt the belt sander? Yeah, you want sander. to find you. Yeah. Just on the fine sander, just take off the okay. super glue, and we we'll cut this last one. Is, is there a front and back to this? Uh... Kinda, but we'll choose the better side, so don't worry okay. about it. No, I'm gonna take the RS off there. You see, but I won't. Yeah, I won't, don't worry I too won't much. do that. Okay. Don't worry too much. Do you want them sanded down? Yes, please. That'll be grand. <laughs>
There we are. Right. Another three layers. There we are. Right. Thomas Woodcarver was saying as well. I tell you what I'll do. I'll bring this bring this camera around so you can see us both. So we're just going to move that one. Oh, chip chip decoration. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to sand those down for me? Do we do on there? Even there. Talk a bit about what we're... You want these sanded down as well? Oh, that'll be great, yeah. Right. There we are. So we're on the... Uh, we're on the bench here. I'm going to bring my seat in. Yeah, what, what I'm getting at is that when you start looking, when you start looking there at all that we've managed to um, cut out, we've got... Um, how many pieces? We've got... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got eight pieces cut out, and um, you've got this one here. I'm asking where he's put the other ones. But you. Ah, here they are. So we've got. Right. And I'll come back in with the camera and do some close ups. We've got two of those. Now, I think, for instance, we could turn them into fridge magnets, possibly. Um, you could even. You could, we could have done a flat bottom on that and turned them into possibly plaques or letter, letter racks or who knows, but we can turn them into products um, to sell. And I think minimum we get for them £7.50. I'll ask Dad now what he thinks price-wise. So that gives us £7.50, £7.50, that's £15. These here... Um, again, minimum you're talking five pounds, so that's another 15 pounds. So straight away, you, we, we're up to 30 pounds. And this wood, why are we using this? Well, it's scrap wood, it's too small for making love spoons from. Um, so we, we can use it for scroll saw projects. I prepare it specifically for that. And it came to us, it was from a, a mahogany piece of furniture. Nobody wanted it, we paid next to nothing for it. So it's your labour, it is, is your profit. We've got another three in there, and I know straight away, those we put out on sale, the cat ones last week, seven, 750, and the one with super glue, 850. So that's another 15, what are we up to? We're around about 50 pounds. So for a few hours work, we've got 50 pounds worth of items that we can potentially sell. Um, so hopefully, you know, hopefully that does give an idea of, of the, the different things that, that can be done. Uh, I'm just going to come in and check as well. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, here we are. Don't get me wrong, I admire the ambition, but I don't. There's a short as well. Ah, right, I think we're talking about um, some of the... Um, Oh, Jason has, has joined us and has gone. Oh, I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, uh, I was just talking to you, did we, where we got these different items. Um, for instance, those ones there, possibly fridge magnets, do you think? I and would then, say fridge magnet, yeah. And, and then how much would you say is a price on those ones? Uh, you're looking... I mean, you've got to jump again more than £5 for a fridge magnet. Well, I think you get £7.50 for those. Yeah, we are. There you go. I reckon you get £7.50 for those. Yeah, we are. We've done it before. Yeah, we've done it before. We, I reckon we get 750 for those. I will show everyone as well what you can do just to add a little bit of extra um, definition interest on this. Okay, these ones here. Bear in mind, you can only do it on one side. You've got to do it on the face, the, chip, the chip carving. I'm not doing chip carving. I'm going to oh. do um, some super glue on it. Oh, okay. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, okay. um, these ones here then, what do you reckon? How Ooh. much? 
Well, I'm definitely on the five pound. Right, and if you turn them into 3D decorations? 3D decorations? Yeah, just by putting pieces on the front. Well, then you're back to 750, aren't you? Back to 750. Yeah. So if you turn them into 3D decorations, you can get 750 each for those. So what, what would that be? That's So you're talking 50. I reckon, including these three here, we know we sold three of these with the cap design. There's a cap design over there. Last week, we put them on sale last week, and the first... We had one group in last week. There you go, the cat design. We did that one and we sold all three straight away. Yeah. 750 and 850. So what I'm getting at is the that's what I'm saying is that you've got 750, 15. All of this, what we've been working on there, I reckon you can get around about 50 pounds. Well tell me that first of all. How many have you got there? Eight items. Eight items at a fiver. Yeah. You've got, you've got 40 quid. It's it, you know what I mean? I, I know what you're saying, you, you're going to push it more, but don't forget. No, no, you, you're no, no. no, I think we're going to push it more because you've got shellacking to do. Yeah. We've got the magnets to do. So, but, a bit more work. So, you know, anybody looking to get in, into, anyone looking to get started with a business and stuff like that, yeah. that's why we do the channel. That's why we demonstrate the yeah. different things because there's so much potential when yeah. it comes to yeah. woodworking. Yeah. To we, we're talking money now, and the, pro the problem we have is that. Um, dogs and cats, that's good. You know, yeah, that's a good good but business. We're okay selling online. Yeah, we're okay selling direct. Yeah, but what people have to consider is that if you're going to sell through a shop, yeah, then the shop wants their percentage, then and that makes things most more tricky. shops over here are looking for a hundred percent markup. Yeah. So um, if you said that's going to be a fiver. <laughs> You understand? Well, straight away, if I was selling to a shop, I'm going to have to come back down to yeah. five pound. However, day. you would, I mean, you that have just problem. done those, that's just been designed as well today. You yeah. know what I mean? And so, so we can adapt that sometimes. Yeah. And yeah. And yeah. You would, you would do way. more and prepare more. Um, <clears throat> find a way to make a bit more out of it. But it, it may be of interest for people to see how, you know, how they can do it and, and, and what kind of money you would be looking for. Let's have a little look on there, which is a bit outside that, because that one's got the... That one was the lower layer, so that one's got the dodgy nose. We got on the back of there as well. Right, so super glue only in the bare sort of minimum. That's typical. I picked up the wrong super glue. That's my fault, is it? Oh no, I was, I was sorry. It was you that picked it up. No, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. And, and the other thing as well is that you know, I mean, we, we're talking about making money, but. Yeah, but I mean, enjoy, it's only... We enjoy making these things as well. Yeah, absolutely, so, and it's... So, you know... Um, it's it, it's just... No, it's not all it's not all about money, but I'm just, I'm just thinking, for anyone who's watching and is considering, you know, maybe thinking, could I, could I do... You know, is this potentially something I could do? Um, could I get involved in woodworking? Can you make any money out of it? I, I, I'm just thinking of that. It's always in my mind, you know, of ideas for people. Um, and as well, I mean, when I was pricing it, I mean, I wasn't even considering if you had to buy the wood. <laughs> well, that's right. You know, so you have that to consider as well. So uh, when we, when we, when we um, sell these things anyway, we we're, we're experimenting always you know we, we try to put a fair price in at the same time um it's an experiment to see it is if it, see see know, the market see yeah what, see what people so, uh, what people it, think it is. <clears throat> and i'm always sort of thinking if it encourages you to have a go you know, it's, it's always, always saying that nice line art of the dragon used by the Welsh government would look really good on this. Um, I, 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 I'm assuming it means, yeah. The so line art, yeah, we, we've the, done. The dragon would be, that would be quite good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. The line, line art, we've done the dragon in lots of different ways. Yeah, we'll have a go at doing line art with the dragon. Yeah. Being here in. Um, the only bit I didn't like about that was the mention of the Welsh government. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Don't start Thomas the Woodcarver off again. Do you want to sand that out? If I give you that as well, because if it runs, um, well, then you can spray then it. Spray it, cause it, it is that, is that going to mess my sanding machine up now? It might, might get a little bit of um, oh, a little bit on it. I'll, 
I'll sand it by hand. You'll have a heck of a job to sand it by hand. On a rough, on a rough bit of sandpaper, I will. Okay, just okay. To get the... There we are. So, hopefully it gives you um, <clears throat> a few different ideas. Um, yeah. You know, it's hopefully of interest. Um, there's so much you can do, and there's so many, there's so much potential um, when it comes to working in wood, and that's why we enjoy it, and that's what we uh, that's what we do. You can see ideas like with the super glue, where you can um, where you can you know draw attention, create contrast, create interest. Um, you know. That's a, a simple little way of doing it is to add extra contrast to the the design by by adding an extra element. Hopefully, some of that is usefully uh, useful to you. Hopefully, it's of interest. Um, Wednesday now, keep an eye out for our upload. Again, we're going to need your help with that. So check out that video and um, and give us yeah. We're going to have we we we'll need a little bit of feedback and a little bit of help. Um, when you watch the video, hopefully it'll become clear why. I'm just going to check if I've missed any comments before I finish up. Uh, let's have a little look. Oh, nice, so there's a oh, big neat idea. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, we'll. Um, have I missed. Uh, enjoy the adventure we're working. I think I've missed. I think I've missed a few comments here as well, but I think uh, Jason's been, been and gone there, so. What he was saying, I think I've missed out on. I'll just see if Dad's ready there. There? Are you ready there with it? Because they're just finishing off. There we are. That has gone through this bit of super glue. If he's finishing off there, I will just wait for him to come out with it. So, uh... Sorry? Just finishing off. So if we've got that one there to show, just to finish off, that'll be perfect. Okay. There we are. Just, just a load. Not perfect. Yeah, I'll have to. What I'll have to do, I will go. What's happened? As it's been sanded, that has just run into the features on the shape of the face and on the uh, the, the the nose of, um, we, of the dog as well. It, though, just to sharpen it. Okay. What I what I would do from here, I want to get rid of. I don't want that filled in, so just pick that bit out. Same again here. We don't want that filled in. Where's the spike? Um, yeah, we just use the skew gouge. What happens is you sand it on the belt sander. It just runs a bit, and it's run into it runs into areas where you don't want it. Here we are. Let's just pick that all back out. Back on the pricing. <laughs> this job has just gone up. <laughs> yeah, but that's what happens. Is that's what they used to say in work for this job, chicken. It's going to be expensive, this job. Here we are. Got the cloth there, there, we'll dry this off. Yeah. Cheers. All it is is where that super glue goes on the belt, see, it just got, it's gone and drifted into. Um, other you, parts you've got a good excuse, in fairness, we were rushing a bit there. Yeah, we're always. Well, this is um, rushing a little bit. There we are. Right. Cause, cause, do you want to do yeah. it so they can see it on the camera? Oh, there we are. This is a beautiful piece of mahogany. Yeah. When you when you see, look at the colour of that coming up now. There we are. And what about this brush, folks? Oh, look at it. Does the job. There we are. It means we've got to travel 20 miles to buy a new brush. So that's a big deal, that is. And there half the are. time, we end up buying a new brush. We bought about four new brushes and we're still using the same one because none of them are up to the job. That's quite often what you find. Yeah, yeah. That's coming on. I think there's potential with that. I think a little bit of more work, a bit of adaption, and we yeah. get. There we are. Thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, glad you enjoyed. Thank you for that, Chris. Uh, appreciate that. Thank you all as well, Aubrey, the carver, Stephen, Jason, thanks for joining us. As I said, give us your feedback. We need your feedback on Wednesday. We didn't do my chip carving. We, 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 you can do your chip carving next time. There you go. Oh, so, see what? Yeah. Uh, see ya. How are you getting cheated? The old man, look. Here we are. Well, the, on, on 
All it's on Wednesday. We're not going to give too much away, but on Wednesday it's getting competitive, isn't it, Thomas? Oh, definitely very competitive Wednesday. It is the start of um, what we hope will be an ongoing. Um, it's the start of what we hope will be an ongoing competition. So it's it's competitive stuff, but we're going to yeah. need your help with it. We're going to need your contribution. So check out that video and. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it'll be a bit of fun. I haven't made a very good start, have I, really? Because, what's that? Well, everybody, when we asked them today, did they want the figure of eight? Well, we, we, don't, we don't know. We're not going to say too much. And the, we, and, and uh, the oval. We, 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 we've we got to get into pose, is it? For, yeah. Here yeah. we are. So it's going to be on yeah. Wednesday. It's, you, you, you may have heard a YouTube boxing. Yeah. But it's... it's, it's it's the Woodcarver Showdown. There we go. Yeah. The Woodworker Showdown. But there we are. Thanks again for joining us and uh, hopefully it's a bit of fun.